ஹாய் ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் வெல்கம் டு ஹேஷ் யூடியூப் எவ்ரி திங் அட் ஒன் பிளேஸ் கங்கா கங்கா ரிவர் இஸ் ஒன் ஆஃப் த பிரைம் ரிவர்ஸ் ஆஃப் இண்டியா அண்ட் இஸ் டிக்ளேர்ட் ஆஸ் அ நேஷ்னல் ரிவர் ஆஃப் இண்டியா வை இஸ் கங்கா சோ ஸ்பெஷல் ஃபார் இண்டியன்ஸ் வை வி கால் கங்கா சாக்ரி வாட் இஸ் ரிட்டன் நவா புராணஸ் இஸ் கங்கா ரிவர் ரியலி டிவைன் வாட் இஸ் அ சயின்ஸ் ரன்னிங் பிஹைண்ட் ரிவர் கங்கா வாட் டிட் சயின்டிஸ்ட் டிஸ்கவர் அபவுட் ரிவர் கங்கா கங்கா வென் வி ஹியர் திஸ் வேர்ட் வி இண்டியன்ஸ் ஆல்வேஸ் கெட் ஓன்லி ஒன் திங் இன் டு மைண்ட் டிகினிட்டி The Ganga River is worshipped and is known for its divinity and purity in all people who follow Hinduism. As per Hindu mythology, Ganga is depicted as the daughter of King Himavant who is the king of mountains and she is sister of Parvati. The river is personified as goddess and hosts a significant place in Hindu religion. Originating in Gangotri glacier, River Ganga flows through a distance of 2525 km through 11 states. In a country like India where economy is mainly based on agriculture, River Ganga plays an important role. The River Ganga is even mentioned in holy textbooks of Hinduism, Rigveda, which is predicted to be 4000 years old. Hindus believe that a king named Bagiratha and sister of Lord Rama performed penance to bring Ganga down to the earth from the heaven to release his 60000 cursed ancestors who had been cursed by a saint named Kapila Goddess Ganga was asked to descend to earth but she felt it as an insult and decided to sweep away everything that came her way in order to avoid this catastrophe Bagiratha prayed to Shiva and requested him to hold ganga in his matted hair lord shiva absorbed the flow of ganga and saved the earth from flooding ganga understood the greatness of lord shiva and asked for his forgiveness then lord shiva released ganga onto earth this is a story what my grandmother told me in my childhood hindus who will take a dip in the river will wash away all the sins they committed knowingly or unknowingly performing rituals for the forefathers and scattering their ashes in the river ganga is believed to help the forefathers attain moksha varanasi haridwar allahabad are some holy cities situated on the banks of river ganga as we know every river has pushkaras and ganga rivers pushkara is attended by most of the people in india the two cities haridwar and prayag are famous for kumbh mela which is one of the largest gathering on planet earth the estimated attendance for the 2013 allahabad kumbh mela was 120 million 120 million oh. we can see the gathering from the outer space clearly see how fascinating it is This is all the religious part of Ganga. Many people believe it. Many people say it's a myth. But not all are myths. Some may be true. Yes, Ganga River is really pure. We will see how the research took place. Indian scientists have validated the scientific basis of mysterious special power of the water of Ganga which Hindus consider as Brahmadravya. microbiologists from the chandigarh based institute of microbial technology who had studied the special characteristics of ganges water have found for the first time several bacteria phages which keep it always purifying bacteriophage is a type of virus that eats bacteria this resolves the mystery of the self purifying properties of ganga water analysis of freshwater sedimentary metagenome virums revealed that The Holy River Ganges not only house novel viromes but also include unexplored double stranded DNA viruses. It is for the first time scientists have come across new viruses. These bacteriophages 
are active against certain clinical isolates or viral strains and can be used against multidrug resistant or MDR infections. They identified 20 to 25 interesting viruses which can be used for treatment of tuberculosis, typhoid, pneumonia, cholera, dysentery, diarrhea, meningitis, etc. Findings revealed variety of different bacteriophages which have specific bactericidal characteristics. The IM Tech team has already collected samples during the pre-monsoon and post-monsoon period from the Haridwar to Varanasi stretch of the Ganges which is highly polluted. They would now collect water samples from Yamuna and Narmada rivers for a comparative study to see how water in the Ganges is different. The study was commissioned by Federal Water Resources and Ganga Regeneration Ministry headed by KUM. I think this study is enough for us to state that Ganga is worth worshipping. Hash it today silver, at it is gold. Please subscribe the channel for more interesting videos.